kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. Following instructions. One day, Grandma was cleaning out a room for the kittens to have sleepovers at her house. Grandma! My dear lovely kittens, your new bedroom is virtually ready. All that's left is to build your beds. They'll be so comfy. Well, that is, as soon as I figure out how to assemble them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the pirate ship you bought for us, Daddy? Ahoy! Here it is! But I think I left the instruction manual in the trunk. Uh, look! Got it! Huh? Mm. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of parts in that one. It should take a long time. Piece of cake! We'll make the pirate ship super quick! And then we can go down and sail it on your pond! Wonderful! And while all of you are busy assembling ships and beds, I will go cook our dinner. Hey, Pudding, can you tell me what this says? Uh, take part A and connect it with part B. Then insert part C straight into part D. Huh? I didn't understand a single word of that. Hmm. <laughs> We can put the ship together using our imagination. Imagine that this is part of the pirate ship's deck. This looks like the steering wheel. And right here is the pirate flag. The kittens are sure that they can build a great ship. Aww. I guess we need the instructions after all. I'll go and get them out of the trash bin. But those instructions are so long. I'll be 100 years old before I'm done with them. I think we should try being logical. Meaning what? I'll explain. There's a lot of these small planks. They probably form the deck. It's only logical, right? They probably go up on top of these bow-shaped parts. That's logical too, isn't it? Doesn't, Doesn't look, look logical. logical. So, I guess it's time to get the instructions out of the trash bin. All right. All right. in this garbage can? I sorted them into the recycling bins so the garbage men could cart them off. No! Oh! oh why'd I have to throw the instructions out? Oh, we'll never be able to find them now. Oh, it wouldn't be with the glass recycling. Instructions are made of paper. It should be in with the paper recycling, which hasn't been emptied out yet. Thank you very much, Grandma. This time around, the kitty cats did everything just as the instructions told them to. It still didn't work with the instructions. What's going on? I have a really good idea. Let's ask Daddy to help us put the pirate ship together. Daddy was still hard at work assembling the kittens' beds. <laughs> It looks like Daddy needs just as much help as us. Daddy, are you sure you're following the instructions? Well, I did look them over. Uh, I just laid them aside. Uh, I thought I could build it on my own. So, uh, uh, mast and uh, uh, anchor and uh, uh, steering wheel. Oh, kitten dears, may I have a look at your instruction manual? Well, I figured out the problem. You got your instructions mixed up somehow. Right here are the pirate ship instructions, and here are the ones for the beds. Well, look at that. <laughs> uh. Well, I don't think you'll have any more problems now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! It can be fun imagining or trying to figure out things for yourself. Following the instructions usually makes the job much easier. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Oh! Ooh, yumminess alert! Now 
Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. Just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Cookies, you use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to take huh? these into the kitchen. That way they won't tempt anyone. Cookie! I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> Everyone, I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? <laughs> Remember to use your willpower. We promised mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking you home. Muffin! Tasty muffin! <laughs> Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow. Look at how fluffy they are. That they're super yummy as well. Ah! <laughs> give me the muffins! No, give them to me! Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried. We honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins. That means we win. Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. Packing a bag. One day, Daddy said he had to go on a business trip to another city. Look at my train ticket, everyone. It leaves at 3 o'clock. I'm going to a big baking conference. Oh, that's wonderful and exciting, my darling. Oh, there's not much time. I need to get you all packed up. <laughs> Look, they're running everywhere like crazy. Well, of course, because it's very important work to pack for a business trip. You have to make sure to remember everything you might need. Then let's help Daddy with packing his stuff. That way he won't forget anything too important. Let's, let's help, help him! Me-wow, 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 me-wow!
All right, what does Dad need to take with him? Washing stuff, right? Toothbrush, towel, shower cap, soap, and bath sponge. Hair dryer! <laughs> we have to remember to pack this, too. The rubber ducky Daddy always takes his baths with. Right, and now we need some eating and sleeping stuff. First, he'll need some things to cook his dinner with. And some plates, and forks, spoons, and cups, a pillow. And a kettle, just in case he wants to make tea. And with tea, you need jam, raspberry or strawberry. Why not pack both? Goodness, I almost forgot the napkins. He'll need warm clothes like sweaters and scarves in case it gets cold. And an umbrella in case it rains. And flippers in case he wants to swim. And an air mattress wrap for floods. <laughs> Great! What else now? The kitty cats thought very hard about all the things Daddy might need. Now we need to pack it all into suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. All that was left to do was to close up the suitcases. Yay! We're the best! We got Daddy all packed up! Daddy! Goodness! Are we moving, kittens? We packed for Daddy. He's completely ready to go. Oh, wow. That's very sweet, my darlings. Well, uh, isn't it a bit much for a two-day trip? Uh oh! I have a really good idea. We should take out what you might not need and leave only the things that you really have to take. It turned out all the things Daddy really needed fit into his briefcase. Now I'm all ready to go. Oh, wow, there's just a half hour till the train leaves. I'll just grab my ticket. Uh, oh, 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 my whiskers. I lost my ticket. Right, just stay calm. Now, kittens, let's search for Daddy's ticket. Thanks, but uh -huh. now it's too late. My train just left. I guess no business trip for me. Oh, no. And we worked so hard to get you packed up. <laughs> hmm. It's good that his packing is done with plenty of time to spare, because your train really doesn't leave until tomorrow, darling. What? It looks like you just mixed up the dates. Oh, yes, I did. Goodness, I'm silly. Then Daddy gets to take his business trip after all? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Since Daddy was already all ready for his trip, he didn't have to rush, so he had plenty of time for a lovely evening with the kittens. The goldfish. The kitty cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, oh wow! It's, it's a, a goldfish! She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, hmm? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No, uh -huh. wait. Uh -huh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> uh, 
I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys. Me too. Hurrah! Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa! All gone! I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. <laughs> The air here smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. 
Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Cookie, uh. oh. stop! <laughs> Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my Ooh. word! We have to stop the assembly line. Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. Doctors! One day, Mom and Dad gave Cookie Candy and Pudding a lovely present to play pretend with. Look what we have for you, kittens! Wow. A doctor said! Thermometer. Bandages, too. Doctor's hats. All the things you'll need to start your very own pretend doctor's office. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'll be the doctor. No, I want to be the doctor. Me too. Well, if all of us are going to be doctors, where are we going to find the patients? We'll get all of our friends to be patients. <laughs> Doctors, are any of you sick? Oh, yeah, very. We make house calls, so we'll be right there. Just let us grab some medicine. Pass the jelly. The three kitty cats' first patient was Cupcake. Now, what seems to be the problem? Something's sort of wrong with my tail. It just doesn't seem to be quite beautiful enough. Right, no problem. I can just snip off the old oh. one and sew on a beautiful peacock's <gasps> tail instead. Simple. <laughs> I don't need a whole nother tail. I want a second opinion. Right. Um, well, I'm not hearing anything. Shall I wake it up with the hammer? Stop that! We should just wrap the tail in some bandages. Okay, as long as they're pretty. <laughs> Thanks, doctors. Hope you feel better, madam. And remember that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now that Cupcake was feeling better, it was time for the three doctors to visit Chase. It certainly was a very windy walk for the kittens. Thank you. Now, what seems to be the problem? Doctor, I think I'm turning into an alien. I can even talk like one. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. 
You seem to have alien fever. Then we have just what you need. Eat some of this cosmic better berry jelly. Cures all alien sickness. <sighs> but looks like I ate all the jelly. That's all right, because we can just give you a jelly jab instead. You'll feel like an earthling again in no time, unless it turns you into a watermelon. Or a watering can. <laughs> no, no, I don't want a jelly jab. Calm down, sir. For being such a good patient, I have this jelly lolly for you. And please be sure to get some rest. Oh. I already feel better. So Chase was feeling better, too. Our little doctor still had Boris to fix up, so they ran through the rain to their patient. you, sir? Well, the problem is that I get really, really sad on rainy days when the sky is gray. Maybe we need to curl your whiskers. No, not my whiskers. It's really kind of my tummy that's hurting. Oh, sure. <laughs> sounds weird. <laughs> yep, sounds like you've swallowed a propeller. No, I think it's something even bigger. <laughs> that's your tummy pudding because you scarfed up all that jelly. Huh? Hey, you're right. It's coming from mine. <laughs> <laughs> Your tummy will be good as new after you have some tea and oat cakes. And this book about clowns will cheer you up. Oh, I've always thought clowns were awesome. I really love their red noses. Goodness, your noses are really red. Huh? Bobby! We helped all our patients. I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all soaking wet. Kittens, get these wet hats off of your heads, and then it's straight to bed. Drink up this nice lemon tea and then sleep so you won't get sick. After a lovely night's sleep, the kittens felt great. <sighs> Good morning. <sighs> Did you call a doctor? I brought you oranges to start your day right. And I've brought some marbles so we can all play. And I brought a joke to cheer you up. <laughs> <laughs> and what doctor's office would be complete <laughs> without a speedy ambulance? Oh, I'm an ambulance. <laughs> What's an ambulance sound like again? Like, like this. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> the kittens loved playing doctors, but they loved even more having tons of healthy energy to play with their friends. The art gallery. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite butterfly chasing when they ran into their friend Mustard. Hey, hey there, there, Mustard! <laughs> oh, hi. What are you eating there? The yummiest eclair in the history of the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could the three of us have just a taste of it? Not a chance. If you want some, then go buy one for yourself. They sell them over there in the cafeteria, the little one that's inside the great big fancy art gallery. Hum. A cafeteria in the art gallery? Can you tell us how we can get there? All right, first you go straight ahead past the square cat, go straight until you reach the screaming cat, then go right as far as the smiling cat. You'll come to a sculpture, the thinking cat. Right past him is the cafeteria. And in the cafeteria are the eclairs. That made no sense at all. What square cat where? Uh, I don't understand it, but I do have it memorized. Then why don't we run home and draw a nice map of our route? The kitty cats were very excited to have a map to the world's yummiest treasure. Hey, Mom! Can we visit the big art gallery, please? Oh, it's wonderful that you kitties have taken an interest in art, but I'm tied up cooking lunch. Ask your father. I bet he'd be happy to take you to the gallery. Mom said that? You know, I'm just as busy as your mother. As long as it's for the sake of art, though, I guess this can wait. Let's go to the art gallery right now. Hooray! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The gallery was very big and had lots and lots of pictures. Listen up, kitties, and I'll teach you all about the art. This place has all the greats, like, uh, uh, was, uh... Hey, there's the square cat, look! Come on. He's really funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is Cats on Rocks by Andy Hairball. Huh? Ooh, that's a masterpiece. The screaming cat's next. Look there. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is a very famous painting. It's called the Owl. Look, there's the smiling cat. Huh? Mm. <laughs> the Muna Lisa. Oh, what's that? That must be the thinking cat over there. Huh? Hmm. 
<laughs> hey, look! The eclairs! Daddy, could you please buy some yummy eclairs for us? Hey, is this the whole reason you wanted to come here? <sighs> Mustard was right. This is the yummiest eclair I've ever eaten. Now, this is what I call a masterpiece. They use my eclair recipe to make those, you know. Then can you make some more for us when we get home? I don't think so. I have to finish my work. I lost time taking you to a gallery when you really wanted to go to a bakery. Well, you got what you came for. Come on. It's a shame that Dad won't make us any more eclairs. Because I really love those things. They're great, but I also like the screaming cat. I loved the smiling cat. I thought the square cat was really cool. But Dad thinks the three of us didn't care anything about the art. I have a super good idea. We should all do our very own paintings for him. Then Daddy will know that the gallery trip wasn't a waste of time at all. And soon the kitty cat's house was full of hardworking artists. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> What are you up to in here? Oh, it's just wonderful. Why, we could hang these up and have our own art gallery. Darling kittens, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed looking at these paintings. And I thought this was a good way to say thank you. Eclairs! The kittens agreed that Dad's eclairs were a work of art. Now it's just like a big fancy gallery here. Beautiful art everywhere and a first-rate cafeteria. Um. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's eclairs were a very big hit, and everyone agreed the Kitty Cat's art gallery was almost as good as the real thing. The Talking Birdie. One day, Daddy was busy as usual dreaming up recipes. And so the next step is to take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and then top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. That sounds very yummy. Better write it down, my dear. Daddy, Daddy did, did you, you call, call us? Pudding, little candy, and cookie. Dad, did you just say I was raspberry flavored? Your sweet Daddy has just thought up a yummy new dessert recipe. Right. Kitties, before I forget, guess what? The neighbors have gone away for a little trip and have asked us to look after their parrot. There's going to be a real live parrot here? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Birdie, birdie, birdie! You know, I read somewhere that parrots can talk. The birdie can talk? That's awesome! Well, go on, birdie, say something. Don't be shy, say something, say something! Maybe she doesn't want to talk stuck in a cage like that. Well, let's let her out then. Okay, we're listening. Maybe she's a little hungry. Well, what do you say? Say thank you. What you should say is thank you. Maybe the birdie likes candy? Want some candy, girl? Not yet. You can have it if you say please. Maybe she's just too little and hasn't learned how to say anything yet. We should try to teach her. The huh? kitty cats tried to think of just the right word to teach the parrot. Hmm. I think we should teach her how to say boo. Uh, then when the neighbors get back, she could really scare them. <laughs> but how could we be certain she'd only scare them? What if she started scaring everybody? Boo! Yeah! <laughs> Well, maybe we should teach her to say, uh, something like congratulations. Because that's a word everybody likes hearing. But pudding, congratulations is what you say when something good happens, not just whenever. <gasps> congratulations! Oh. oh! Congratulations! We should teach him a word that's normal and simple. Something like, hi there. You're right. The bird won't scare anybody if he says that. Hi there. Hi, hi there. there. Hi 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 there. Oh. Hi there. Hi there! 
Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Uh, what? Kittens, could you please go play somewhere else? I just wrote the last step of my new recipe as hi there. Now, what was supposed to happen after you take the hot cookie out of the oven? Take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. <gasps> <gasps> the clever parrot had remembered Dad's recipe perfectly. Thank you. That's it exactly. Well, I guess you do know how to talk after all. Thank you. Candy, please. Congratulations. Boo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how come you didn't say anything before when we asked you to talk? Well, my darlings, maybe you were talking too much yourselves. And she didn't have a chance to get a single word in. Ah. We're very sorry, Birdie. We should give you time to answer. Birdie? Hi there. Good afternoon. Oh, awesome! Meow-wow, 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 meow-wow! Thank you, Cookie! Thank you, Candy! Thank you, Pudding! You're, You're very, very welcome. welcome! That night, they all tried Daddy's new cookie recipe, and their new parrot friend talked so much, it was hard to believe it had ever been quiet at all. Candy's magic wand. One day, Cookie and Pudding made a terrible <laughs> mess in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at this room. You need to pick up my dolls and all this other stuff, too. Candy, you're not the boss of us. We're not going to do it. Tell her, Pudding. Uh, right. Fine, then. I'll just use my magic wand here to turn you into frogs. Hey, is that really a magic wand? Ha, yeah, right. Prove that it's a magic wand by using it to clean up this mess. All right. Close your eyes and I'll clean it with the wand. Wand, make this room nice and clean. Cheeky Candy played a trick on the boys to pretend the wand was really magic. The spell is all done. You can look now. Oh, oh, no, no way, way, all right! We have an honest-to-goodness magic wand! Now we can wish for anything. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey! You don't have a magic wand, but I do, and if you don't come out and push me on the swing, then I'll turn you both into frogs! <gasps> so Cookie and Pudding push Candy on the swing. Well, great. From now on, we're gonna have to do whatever she tells us, because if she ever gets really mad... I want a cup of tea. <laughs> oh. I don't want to be a frog. I don't either. We've got to get the wand away from her somehow. <laughs> hey, give me back my wand or I'll turn you into frogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn you into something. Turn Candy into a frog right now. Uh, frog? Frog? It's not working. Uh, maybe we have to close our eyes. Like back in our room. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> we are about to get turned into frogs for sure. We've got to run and tell Mommy. Hey, wait. Come back. <laughs> Cookie? How could our very own sister turn you into a frog? Oh, Mommy! Stop, Pudding! <laughs> Mommy, Candy turned Cookie into a frog with her wand. Just look! <laughs> look what you've done to our brother. But it can't be. Cookie, I'm so sorry. Oh. <gasps> oh, so that's where my sailor hat went. I thought I lost it in a bush. Cookie! Cookie. Mm. So that's where my second knitting needle went. I was just wondering where I had put it. You mean that's just one of Mommy's knitting needles and not a magic wand at all? Well, yeah. I was just trying to scare you guys because you wouldn't clean up our room like I asked. You weren't asking us, you were ordering us. Wait a second. 
Listen, Candy, if you want your brothers to do something, my darling, there's a real magic word that you need to be using. That word is please. Is it really magic? Uh, Pudding, hand me that frog, please, dear brother. <laughs> Here, dear sister. Thanks, and Cookie, would you open the door, pretty please? Ha, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Doing something for somebody else feels nice when they use that word. Maybe that word really is magical. Goodness, yes, and more useful than any magic wand. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, could you give me a push, if you please? Of course, Pudding! <laughs> Woohoo! Cookie and Pudding! Could you guys swing my jump rope? Please, please, please? Of, of course, course we, we will! will. <laughs> magic wands only exist in fairy tales, but the kitty cats learn that the magic word please is really magical. A dance competition. One morning, there was something very exciting on the news. It's the day of the big dance competition. Everyone is welcome, and the cat with the best dance moves wins a prize. Oh, I just love dancing. And I love prizes. Let's enter the dance competition. Great idea. We'll all go, and every one of us will dance. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Ha, Mommy and I will dance the tango. <laughs> we took all those lessons after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dance like a ballerina, like a graceful little flower. And I'm going to do a break dance. <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, guys, I think I don't know how to dance at all. Well, that's all right. You'll have plenty of time to learn before the contest this evening, and your sister and brother can help you along. We'll have you dancing in no time. We'll try something simple first, like a nice waltz. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ow! You stepped on my paw. I'm sorry. One, two, three, ow! One, two, three, ow, my paw! One, two, three, one, two, three, ow, ow, ow! Waltzing might be too tricky for you to start with. Let's try to break dance. Now pudding, after me. <laughs> I think I broke something. Does that mean I did it right? Maybe you should try some folk dancing. Uh, I can't hop around that much. I'm not a frog. Look. Then you can do the robot. There's no hopping involved. There doesn't seem to be much of anything involved. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. That dance is boring. How about the can-can? It's really fun. I'm pretty sure that I can't, can't, can, can. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Well, my lovely kittens, how's it going? It turns out that I can't dance, so I can't go to the competition. Well, if Pudding can't go, then I'm not going either. Well, then your father and I will also stay home. Oh, uh, we will? Oh, all right. All of this is my fault. <laughs> I have a super great idea. What we need to do is a family dance with our very own special move. One that we know we can all do. Even, Even pudding, pudding too? Of course, pudding will have the most important part of all. That evening at the Grand Theater, the competition began. Lots of cats entered. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey there. Don't be. We're not nervous, am I right? No, Hi, no, guys. No, no, right? no, no need to be oh. nervous, my See? love. We're cool. Pudding, look. You have got this. You were born to do this dance. Breathtaking. And finally, we have the thrilling dance group, Two Cats and Their Kitty Cats. <laughs> Family dance.
doing that for weeks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> and here's Pudding, the dancer that started it all. <laughs> the final scores are in, and of course, the Kitty Cat family wins. Oh, awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Always lovely to celebrate a victory, but it's even better when you share it with the whole family.